Hi, Red Knights. It's me, Dr. Skinner. I'm uh, sending out this video live from my family room. I'm just on my laptop. This is nothing fancy, but just wanted to make this connection as we get started on extended online school. So I'm going to take a look at my notes every so often. So when you see me looking off to the side, I'm just checking my notes. So first of all, um, I want to start with a really important point. What What's going to be important during this time when we're away physically is to maintain that connection, to maintain that sense of community, that BSM experience. So you'll be able to do that in a couple of different ways, but it's going to take some intentionality. So just want to make sure you understand the academics will be there. That will be super important, but also really to be able to maintain relationships, connections, so that no one is isolated and left alone or um, worse yet suffering in silence and not reaching out to the BSM community. So students will be staying engaged through a number of different platforms. We'll talk a little bit more about that as the video goes on. So I'm going to just check my notes real quick. Um, yeah, so as we start, um, let's pray. And I know this is a little different. Normally you hear my voice over the loudspeaker in your homerooms or in your first hour. But as we pray, just take that deep breath and remind ourselves that we are in the holy presence of God as we begin together in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Loving God, we come to you today asking for compassion, guidance, and wisdom. We know that even in the midst of uncertainty and change, you provide us with refuge. Your unconditional love comforts us and blesses us. And we pray this together as a BSM community in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, I'm going to check my notes again. A uh, few things I want to tell you, and then I'm going to direct you to another video that has more detail. First of all, there is a standardized structure for the classes. Dr. Poland's video, which is on this same page, will explain the structure. This is different than one or two day online school. This is extended online school. So just a couple of highlights. First of all, students, you have to check in to every class that is supposed to meet that day. So if it's a Wednesday, you're checking into periods one, three, five, seven. If it's a Thursday, you're checking into periods two, four, six, eight. And we'll show you how you check in. And the thing is that if you don't check in, you're marked absent. Okay, this is real school, even though it's different. Uh, parents, you need to call the attendance line if your student is too sick to do online school or if you know there's just something at your home where they, they physically can't get online. You have to let us know that. You can call the regular attendance line. And then if your travel plans have changed, so I know some of you were going to be absent on Friday and maybe that's not the case anymore. If you wouldn't mind just letting Kathy Jacobson know that, so we can mark you as present and that way teachers can expect to see you in class on Friday or whatever day that you had originally planned to be gone. Um, one of the things that you'll see as part of the structure for online school is that you'll be video conferencing with your teachers in Google Meet. Here's the thing though, when you do that, you have to be in a common area of your house. Okay, you cannot be in your bedroom. You have to be in a common area. So like right now I'm in the my family room. Um, and again, Dr. Poland's video will run you through the logistics. Every class is set up the same, so it, it hopefully will be less confusing for you. You'll be able to find your work. Again, you'll be able to find where you check in for attendance. Your teachers will be screencasting to you. And again, that's that important part of staying connected. You'll hear your teacher's voices. Um, some will see, you'll see their face. You'll have the option to video conference. And again, that spirit of keeping connected is so important during this. Okay, couple of, oh, one other thing, um, parents, if you need help logging into PowerSchool Learning, I'll shoot out a separate um, tutorial for you on that. So PowerSchool is where grades and attendance are. PowerSchool Learning is actually the classroom. Okay, students, you know what I'm talking about. Parents might not be as familiar. Um, let's see, making sure I'm checking my notes here. Looking good. Okay, a couple of quick things before I sign off. Um, students, here's some suggestions. I know this is, you may have um, seen these on TV too. So this is going to be different, right? This is going to be different. And just a couple of tips. Start out strong with a routine and even set a schedule for yourself. You know, bedtime is this time, wake up time is this time, breakfast. You know, maybe you spend this much time on whatever class. Some classes will be more time, some classes will be less time. But consider keeping a fairly regular schedule. And I would even suggest you know, getting like your school clothes on, right? Um, I know what these first few days are gonna be kind of the adjustment period, then after spring break, we'll come back strong. Also set up a physical place in your house. Um, this is actually not my school desk. I'm also working remotely, working from home. So I'm gonna set up a, um, 
a desk and a table and whatever in my living room. So I, I haven't done that yet, but I will be doing that. And again, keep in mind when you're video conferencing, you have to be in a common area of your house. Um, and again, you will need to check into every class by 2 p.m. And I would suggest not waiting that long. So again, keep that routine, check in by 2 p.m. Um, and there's a Google form that you'll click on. And, and again, Dr. Poland's video will explain that. And then finally, take some screen breaks. You cannot be on your screen all day. There's just no way. So take some screen breaks, get outside, get some fresh air, do some of those little neck stretch things. Um, I'll, maybe I'll find some resources after spring break and send those out to you too. But you need to make sure that you're taking care of your whole person. Again, that's a super important part of uh, the BSM experience. The other thing to keep in mind is that we're doing this for a reason, a very specific reason, which is to prevent the spread, or you've seen that, um, slow the curve or, or lengthen the curve. Um, going out in groups of 10 or more is just simply not allowed. So just don't do it. And you wanna stay connected, but you also wanna be smart and follow the guidelines. So again, thank you for your flexibility. Um, I'll sign off now, I'll keep in touch, obviously. And then I'll have you click on Dr. Poland's link and you can watch more specifically about the online school structure. Parents, if you don't want to watch Dr. Pullen, that's fine, but students, you're required to watch Dr. Pullen's tape so you know how the structure is going to work for your classes. All right, take care. See you guys.